Hi, this is Life on Earth with Larissa. I am Larissa. Thanks again for joining me. Today, we are going to be talking about choices. Choices. We are faced with so many choices. Make sure you tune into every part so you will have a full understanding of what we're trying to communicate in regards to choices. Um, so stay tuned. Our lives are full of choices. God gave us the freedom to choose. I remember years ago, I, I got upset with God because I made a, I made the wrong choice. I made a bad choice, a wrong choice. I just, I didn't make a good choice. And and I blamed God, so to speak. I, I said, God, well, you knew my heart. Why, why didn't you, why didn't you, um, why didn't you kind of impress upon me to make the right choice? You know, so it's like, God, you knew my heart, but he gives us the freedom of choice. And eventually I did have to repent for for blaming God for not making a decision for me in essence. Um, um, we have the freedom of choice and uh, God gives us that freedom. And uh, what we do with that freedom is our choice. God gives us a choice. Every day we are presented with choices some big, some small. Uh, most of them, the majority of our choices are uh, life altering, um, whether it's a small in a small way or a large way um, is life altering. Okay. Um, it can keep us on track or it can get us off track. That's the life altering. When we're born, people are making choices for us. When we first come into the world and we're babies, people are making choices for us. They're making choices of um, our feeding schedule. Um, they're making choices when they're gonna give us a bath. They're making choices of uh, our playtime. Um, and as we age and grow, then I think maybe around, maybe around two, um, where kids begin to communicate a little more, because as babies, they can't, the, we don't know baby language, is what I'm saying. So uh, then kids begin to communicate and um, they begin to ask for things, like they want more juice or they want more crackers, you know, around the age of two. Um, they they know how to look at an outfit and they want to wear that but um as adults adults have to guide their choices so to speak and try to help them make a better choice because a lot of kids they will choose uh they will choose to stay in their pajamas all day because that's their favorite uh, pair of pajamas they love those pajamas that's their favorite pair they will wear them to school um, but as parents, parents have to override, um, uh, the ch the child's choice because they're really not, they can make choices, but they're not always wise and they're not always good for them. Okay. So, um, we covered the babies, we covered the, uh, you, uh, well, we got the, uh, two year olds and then you get the school age children and, we're still, even at school age, uh, they're, they're presented with choices. You know, am I going to obey my parents or am I going to listen to my friends? You know, so uh, we're, we're born and then we're raised and we should be groomed with making choices throughout our lives. You know, um, uh, something happens, uh, Something might happen at school. Um, if you're school age, something happens at school, you have a choice. Do I tell my parents 
or uh, do I not tell my parents about that? You know, or um, uh, hey, now it's school age. Now you know, okay, what kind of foods you like? You know, so if you pull, if someone pulled up to a restaurant and said, okay, do you want a hamburger? Do you want French fries? Do you want nuggets? Then you're presented with those choices, and you, and then you can choose. Hey, I'll take a hamburger. Hey, I'll take a French fries. And, and some kids, they are, some kids uh, are, are not presented with choices. They get what's placed before them. And so, but there are other things that they might be presented with as far as uh, food, they might not have a choice. They might get presented with a, a dinner plate and, and that's, you get what's set before you. Um, but then there are other little choices that, uh, that we're made, we're allowed to make along the way. So we're going to go ahead and progress to, um, to, uh, so that was adolescence, teen, preteen, teen, uh, we're going to go to a uh, preteen teen. So now you got the teenagers. Now they've been making choices since they've been around three to four three to six years old, they've been making choices, you know, various choices throughout their lives, you know. Um, if they're gonna, uh, it, all kinds of choices. Um, choices on following the rules or not to follow rules, choices on uh, behaving or not behaving, uh, choices on what you're gonna wear or not gonna wear, choices on how do you wanna wear your hair or not wear your hair. Um, many, many choices, choices on if you want to go outside or you want to stay inside, lots of choices. Our lives are made up of choices. And so by the time teenagers, uh, by the time you have your teenagers, now they're really making a whole lot of choices, uh, for themselves. You know, they can choose to join in groups, you know, or they can choose to stay a loner, you know. And sometimes they can't just join in a group. Uh, some people are standoffish and act funny, and you got to go through a, you got to go through some initiation to get in. Some some groups or cliques or whatever you want to call it, but they can choose to be a loner and be to themselves, or they can choose to go out and make friends and communicate. Um, they can choose if they want to participate in athletics or uh, be on a debate team. There are a lot of choices. So when they go to high school, those kind of things, and then eventually they're choosing a college. And um, that, that means the higher learning and um, they're making uh, more adult choices. So we're presented, I said that to say we are presented with choices from the time we're small all the way on up until we are adults. And then um, a lot of choices uh, that the youth make, um, parents can override those choices because they're not considered adults, uh, adults yet. Meaning, uh, the parent is responsible for that, that child, that adolescent, that teenager, the parent is still responsible for that person until they become an adult. Okay. And um, once that person becomes adult, now they become fully responsible for their own choices, okay? Once that person becomes adult, now they become fully responsible for their own choices, okay? Once that person becomes adult, now they become fully responsible for their own choices, okay?
All right, that concludes part one of the four part series in regards to choices. This has been Life on Earth with Larissa. I thank you again for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.